Hello friends, welcome. So let's uh, customize one more thing in our uh, Breeze package. Right now I don't have any user here. So let's go and sign in with Google. And I'm going to choose this email. Good. And if I refresh now, we have this user here. Good. We have this username which is generated automatically. And for example, if I want to update that, we need to go here. And we need to add one more field for the username and also for the password. Now here we need the current password, but when we generate, when we create a new user from uh, GitHub or Google, the password is going to be null, as you can see here. And uh, one way is to check on the update password section if the current password, if the user password is null, hide this and just show the new password and password confirmation and also when we update on the update password controller just check if the password is null but I'm going to use another way I'm going to implement the email verification and when we send the email verification I'm going to send the generate a new password and send that with the email verification and the user can update the uh, password by typing that password we sent with email. Okay. Also, I have opened the mytrap.io here. If you go to the Laravel documentation and search for email verification, what we need to do is just implement the most verify email and add the most verify email up here. Use that. So let's open the user model and I'm going to implement the most verify email and let's uncomment this okay and then what we need to do is to send notification when we when we create a new user so here we have an example send email verification notification and let's copy that here we have the request user but let's open the provider controller and here we have the user and let's say when we create new user, I'm going to remove the email verified. And when we create new user, I'm going to call the user and send email verification notification. And as I said, I want to send also the password there, but let's test for now. I'm going to delete this one and let's from here refresh, let's sign in with Google and now it's going to send the email okay if i come here yeah here we have that email and here is the email if i click verify email address good so if i refresh also here okay and if i come and refresh we have the email verify that very good now what i said is that i want to send also the uh password string here and the user can copy that password and update the password here now here when on the laravel.com if we scroll down we have the customization and and here we have the verify email let's copy that and we need to add this on the out service provider so let's do the same open the out service provider and on the boot method paste that in we need to import the verify email and also the new mail mess message and uh, as i said i want to send the the password but i don't want to send the password always so for example if i register a new user from here the user it's going to know the password because it's going to add here so I, when we register a user from the form i don't want to send the password on the mail i don't i want only to send the password when we generate a new when we create a new user from the google or github and for that we need to check here to add a line so let's say here line if and here accept the boolean as you can see 
Okay, so here now I'm going to add the dollar sum notifiable and I'm going to check for the provider. If we have a provider, it means uh, we are going, we, the user is created by either the GitHub or Google. And if that is true, I want to send the password. So let's say here, I'm going to say, please uh, update the password. Update your password, which is and concatenate with the password we are going to send. So let's say password here. And also I'm going to copy and paste li this line. And also I'm going to add for the username. So let's say here username. And username like this. Now, if I leave as it is right now and let's go, let's refresh and I'm going to delete this again and come here, refresh, go to the login page and I'm going to sign in with Google. Okay, if I come here and we have this email. Now, as you can see, the, we have this please update your username, which is this one. But the password is empty. And that is because on the provider, and let's close now this one. On the provider, when we create a user, the user has only the name, email, username, provider, provider ID, and the token, but the password is not. So if I open the user's migration, we can see the password is not. And let's remove this. We added the password null because when we create here the leave also not the password. But now I'm going to change that and uh, I'm going to run. So let's open the terminal right now. And I'm going to run the artisan migrate fresh. Very good. And let's close now. And here now when we create the user, I'm going to create a new password. And let's say dollar sign password equal with without str string and call the random 12 characters and paste the password here. Password and say dollar sign password. And with that now, if I come here, refresh, we don't have a user because we just added a migrate flash. Let's come here. And let's say let's login with Google. Let's choose this one now. Okay, come here. And as you can see now, the password is this password. Good. But also in the database, if I refresh, the password is this string, as you can see. And I don't want that. I want to add the hash password. So for that, when, after we send in the email verification notification, I'm going, I'm going to use the user update. And I'm going to update the password to be and call hash make and pass in here the password. And now with that, if I come here and let's delete one more time this user. Try again to log in with sign in with Google. Choose this one. Okay, come here. Yeah, right now this is the user. Uh, sorry, the password. But if I come here and refresh, now here the password is hashed, as you can see. Okay. Now let's copy this and let's say verify email address. Okay. If I refresh also here, the same. 
and let's update. Let's go to profile and paste that password and let's say just the password string. Click save and we saved as you can see. Okay. Now the last thing is to add for the username. And let's let's remove this one now and let's open the profile uh, update update profile information. And here when we have the name, I'm going to copy and one add one more field for the username. So let's select all of them and say username just here is going to be name for username and the value is going to be username and let's go here and yeah we have the username but uh, now we need to open also the update so let's search for profile update request profile controller and here we have the request user field and added the request validated so we need to go to the profile update request and see what fields we have we have the name and the email let's copy the email and paste it one more time and update this to be username which is going to be not email but it's going to be string uh, max255 and rule unique to the user class now if I refresh and let's say I want to be this username say and it's saved as you can see now and of course if I come here and refresh yeah good now we have everything okay let's uh, log out and just one more thing we need to do is if I go and log in again with this uh, email I want to show you one error I did in the previous video. We have this email uses a different method login, a method to login. And that's it because on the, let's open the provider controller again. Uh, here we get the user and first thing we check if the, if in the user exist the user with this email but first we need to check so let's cut this first we need to check if the user with this provider and then the social user id exist otherwise if not exist down there we we are going to create one but before we create it we are going to check here now here we need to check if the user where the email is this email and if that exists, return. Otherwise, we are going to create a new user. And let's come here and refresh and try one more time. Let's choose this. Okay. Go to the profile and yeah. Also, what I want to do is let's go and sign in now with uh, GitHub. Good. Let's come here. Let's verify the email. And let's copy this and change. So come here, profile, the username, I'm going to leave it. Just update the password. Click save and it's saved, okay. Now the password is updated. If I go back and refresh here, everything okay log out and let's register a new user fake filler register good now if i come here as you can see to this one we have only the click the button below to verify the email address we don't have that uh, password and username when we create a new user from the form Good friends, that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.